at this point, I am just happy that I still have hair. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Kia, and if this is your first time here, welcome. But if you are returning, hey boo. We have some things to do. This is more of like a spend the day with me kind of thing. The summer is coming. I definitely need to go back to the gym. I try to make it once a week, but that's not gonna cut it. I need to be there at least two to three times a week try to get my 10,000 steps in. My hair is like this because I was just doing something that I legally cannot tell you guys about, but it has left me in the state with my hair <laughs> like this. If I need to wear a bonnet outside, I will <laughs> under a hoodie. Please comment below. Let me know if you go out and run your errands in your bonnet or not. So yesterday I had a wash day and I just blew my hair out and I did not film it. And it's crazy because that was one of my best wash days that I've had in a really long time. I mean, no, not in a really long time, but it was a really good wash day. I used the Amica moisturizing shampoo. Actually, I have my stuff over here. So I used, I'm not gonna show y'all everything, but I used this Amica moisturizing shampoo. I really like this. I also used the pattern intensive conditioner which I could have kept in my hair and used as a deep conditioner but I'm trying to use some products up because somebody asked for a stash video and I am really nervous about showing my products for some reason like I am into sustainability and I don't want it to appear that you need a lot of products to care for your natural hair at the same time. A lot of people send me things. There may be new drops that I'm interested in. I do feel like, you know, this is my business in a sense. So I can try new products, but I am just, you know, I want to get my stash down a little bit before I show y'all. I always knew I felt like I had too many products, but I was really on this binge of cleaning things out. And I looked and I was like, oh my goodness, I had like four shelves of that, maybe four or five. And I was like, this is ridiculous. So I got my shelves down to three. I threw away all my expired products and I started writing the dates on the bottom of like when I get my products. They have like this little thing where it tells you how long the product is good for. I just want to make sure I'm not using expired products and I want to make sure that I'm getting through things, making sure that I'm not buying unnecessary things and I want to actually use up products, right? Especially if I like them. And if not, I'll be sending them to my homegirls and my family. I give away products all the time. There's one product that I used and it was just okay. So I'm returning it because I still have the receipt. It was the Innocence um, Blowout Smoothing Cream. I don't have it. It's in my purse so I don't forget to return it. But I just feel like it was just okay. I've been blowing my hair out with Olaplex products. And a lot of people, you know, feel some sort of way about Olaplex and I even felt some sort of way um, about them for a while, but I had never tried them. I just heard, oh, you know, they have a little claim going, what's going on kind of thing. So um, I won't use them all the time, but I really like how they're number nine and how they're number six feels as I'm blowing my hair out. 
like my hair still feels weightless and not that the innocence one didn't but it was like a cream and i feel like the sprays and the serums when i blow my hair out it just feels better on my hair at this point i am just happy that i still have hair i am because i have been trying a lot of products over the years that i started recording my journey and i feel like i don't know how i feel about that I don't really know how I feel about that. But what I do know is that Sacred by Beyonce contacted me. And I've been trying to be like real low key because I've seen people just like sharing, oh my gosh, they're sending me PR, they're sending me PR. And I feel like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel like I don't want to digest what a lot of people are saying. I want to just wait until I make my conclusion and have my experience with those products. So all in all to say, I will see y'all when I go to Ulta. I just made my return at Alta and now we are headed to the gym. Apparently Charlotte Tilbury has something big coming. Actually, it's not that they have something big. I think I heard somewhere that they're now available in Alta. And it's so crazy how things work because I actually received an email from Charlotte Tilbury and it says it's their exclusive magic skincare broadcast. And it will be hosted by Charlotte herself to get a sneak peek into Charlotte's latest skincare innovation coming next month. So this was a great reminder because sometimes I see um, emails and I'm like, okay, I'll respond to it. And then sometimes I forget. Most of the time I don't, but sometimes. In this case, I needed to RSVP for this exclusive Zoom. Now it is time to go ahead and go to the gym. great workout but I left my Apple watch at home if you have an Apple watch you understand the uh about that I don't want to say that I'm competing with some people but it's a good way for me to stay connected to my friends and my family I know my mom and I we both have Apple watches and whenever we complete a workout we go ahead and like send some encouragement some kudos and yeah, it just makes me feel, you know, more connected. As I said earlier, like North Carolina is not like Baltimore. <laughs> I feel like it's easier to make friends in Baltimore. Here in Raleigh, first of all, Raleigh is not Charlotte, okay? <laughs> Even though there are some um, people in Raleigh, but you either have to meet them off the app and then you know how that goes. It's like, okay, like... But I do have a really nice friend that I met down here. I also met another friend when I was going to film some content, but I have to reach out to her. We still have to figure out what's going on with this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my flexi rods at the end. If you're watching this, you know what to do. Thumbs up if you don't mind. It really means a lot to me. And plus it helps my videos in the algorithm. It's a lot that goes into these videos and I'm trying my hardest to stay consistent with this. So I would really appreciate a like. And if you watch this and you don't know if you're subscribed or not, if you don't mind just checking to see if you are subscribed because hopefully you like my content. And if you're a super fan, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you could be the first one to watch my 
my videos. I really appreciate you watching this and yeah, let's finish this off. But I hope you're having a good day. Like, I really hope that you're having a good day. Whenever you're watching this, I hope your week has been going well. I hope your 2024 has been going well so far. I know for me, 2024 has been okay i had some um brand partnerships that i did not expect it's very interesting because i'm starting to notice like the patterns of when brands start to reach out to me and at the beginning of the year there's always some brands that you know like just need to get their stuff out first i'm really thankful for that but i have been saying no to a lot of people because i am working on a passion project so please stay tuned for that um just stay tuned for that this is my first time saying that so i'm not going to say what it is but it's something uh, um very personal to me and i'm kind of starting to get a little emotional talking about it because as someone who is undiagnosed adhd you know sometimes it can be tough to just focus on things and then to be honest just being a black woman <laughs> just being a black woman in america's society can be rough especially if you have natural hair or you have any kind of disability and you just have a lot going on or you're going through your health journey your hair journey all that stuff i am really pushing myself to go ahead and bring my idea to the world i'm a cancer it's very easy for us to be the lulu <laughs> sometimes and we're very compassionate very like people we're people who wear our hearts on our sleeve and very emotional and impassionate and all those things i definitely fit the mold on those things but i do have a product that will be dropping this year so definitely stay tuned i just can't wait to have something that i can send out to you and so you can just feel the vibes some people think okay well i'm in my 30s right some people think you know older people don't go through this and i don't want to even say older but like as you age you know you're grown you don't have any fears you don't have this you don't have that but it is never too late to learn something new and all of those things it is so just don't think anything that you have going on right now mentally will just go away as you age it doesn't you have to work on those things i know for me i've worked on those things and i am just blessed to be able to see the other side of things like they said in that beyonce song like church girls to see the other side like i feel so blessed i am walking in my purpose and it feels amazing <laughs> it feels amazing because for a minute there for a minute there your, your girl was just going left okay but we are back on track we are improving our spiritual life being consistent with that and you know when you have god on your side and when you communicate with god he speaks back he or she okay because let's not you know it, it might be a woman so <laughs> god is a woman ariana grande but all right y'all let me get the moving and i gotta text my wife back because she she texted me what's up baby what's up baby you knew that i was not about to come home and really put flexi rods in my head i knew that you knew that we're also going to make a little reel or at least try to so make sure you're following me on all platforms at curls with kia so i will be using bread because i am on a journey to use up products i am not purchasing any products y'all hear me i'm not purchasing any products at least until june but let's see if we can do that let's see if we can do that okay <laughs> actually let me just go ahead and take that back i might have to buy briogio's um kiwi and avocado deep conditioner because i really like that as my protein free option outside of that 
yeah we're not buying a lot of products this year we're just not but i appreciate the pr though stay tuned for the pr because the pr is coming through and i am thankful for that okay <laughs> and understanding like transparently speaking even with my partner we've had we've had situations where we saw it differently because he's very much the like all that noise. Got me yelling out like the scream house. Yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't belling out. And that pink Ferrari, we pulling out. I told Tay, bring the Bob Dylan out. That so cold, we just chilling out. Baby, yelling, yelling, yet yelling out. It is Barbie. If you still in doubt Ooh. And I'm bad like the Barbie I'm a doll but I still wanna party Pink felt like I'm ready to bend I'm a 10 so I pull in a Ken Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki All of the Barbies is pretty All of the Barbies is bad It girls And we ain't playing tag Barbie ain't nothing to play about He wanna play in the playhouse They gon' say now I'm watching these boots I'm rubbing a stain out Like I'm ready to bend All the fake Barbies just wanna pretend Like don't let me go find me a pen Look where it led Now I'ma put it to bed She a Barbie bitch with her Barbie click I keep dragging my hair always takes longer than I think it will. <laughs> like, I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to uh, roll, pop, pop, pop these things in. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm just over here having fun with my hair. <laughs> That's literally what I do each week. I don't take things too seriously. And when it comes out nice, I'm like, oh, this was so nice let's do it again that's literally what it is because i feel like i'm always doing my hair yeah i feel like i'm always doing my hair and that's fine that's fine because at least my hair is healthy so there's so many methods to doing a flexi rod set this is not a tutorial people can do the horseshoe method where you wrap it around on both sides um, some people take it and go from right here and twist it around. Some people roll it up from the bottom. That's what I'm about to do. So um, I do think in the future when I do this, I'll just go ahead, have the twist and then put some perm rods on the end. But for some reason, I just wanted to do this because I felt like it looked so nice the last time I did it. So... I don't know luckily I filmed it when I did it last time but I'm just rolling it up making sure the ends are smooth and then just clipping the ends and then I'm gonna sleep like this that's that and I will show you guys the results and close the vlog out some of the flexi rods onto each other so we'll see i am not expecting this to come out looking good but at least we had fun at least this was a time to be honest i don't even know what i did last time i have to go back and look at my video <laughs> i did use super curl from uncle funky's daughter and i really like the hair cream so i'll probably use that last time but i am really 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 trying to get through my products and i think i may get through this but i am ready for this product to be empty and then i will be out of all of my bread products except for the hair oil do y'all think i'll use all of this i don't know maybe i won't maybe i will 